Hello my dear children welcome to learners planet children this is session 2 about safety and first aid in the previous session we studied about some safety rules which we should follow at our home and when we are outside the home in this session we will study about first aid so let's start with the first aid so children what is meant by first aid yes the immediate help given to an injured person before proper medical help arrives is called first aid so children always remember that if any person is injured then he should be always give he should be always given an immediate help right before the proper medical help arrives over there proper medical help arrives means before an ambulance arrives right till then we should give him or her the immediate help that is called the first aid now we will see that what is actually the first aid we should have a first aid box both in our house and also in our school why because there are some things that happen in our house like when we play with sharp objects when we play with the sharp toys right so we may get hurt if you rush on the chairs or if you push or pull your friends or your brother or sister then what happens mistakenly you get hurt right and also in the school when you are playing on the playground so while playing you may get hurt so there should always be a first aid box in our house and also in our school so the first aid kit looks like this now let us see some of the things that are present in the first aid box so now let's see that what kind of things or how many things there should be present in the first aid box we can keep many things but which are the very most important things which we should keep and which is necessary to keep in the first aid box so the first one is an antiseptic cream right so you can see in the picture an antiseptic cream can be applied on the burns right if any burn happens or it is caused due to the carelessness like holding a hot object so it might cause cause burn so we should apply an antiseptic cream on the burns then what other things should be there in the first aid box yes some bandage and sticky tape right so you can see in the picture this person is is injured right so it has been given the proper care with the bandage and also we have used the sticky tape then you should have commonly used medicines like crocin combi flame etc which causes headache right so if any type of headache occurs we can use these commonly medicines right so we can use the common medicines you can see in the picture 
right so we can use the common medicines if we are suffering from very minor disease like diarrhea right and headache or any waist pain or neck pain or arm pain or any kind of muscle pain then there should be sterilized cords and cotton pads in the first aid box so the sterilized cords and cotton pads look like this then an antiseptic lotion then a bottle of methylated spirit right why a bottle of methylated spirit because it will kill the germs for example savlon detol all are methylated spirit right so we can use the bottle of a methylated spirit which can kill germs then sachets of ors ors means oral rehydration solution so when it is used ors is used when you are suffering from diarrhea right so you can have ors so you can be treated or you can get cured at your home only then a creep bandage right so you can see in the picture it is a very long bandage right so if you have any kind of muscle pain you can tie this bandage a creep bandage over that portion right so your pain will be decreased then a pair of scissors for cutting the sticky tape or the sticky band or if you have a very long bandage or a piece of cloth right so you can cut the cloth and the sticky tape with the help of a pair of scissors right so all such things are very necessary and it should be kept in the first aid box now let's study about the first aid tips right so the first tip is that you should completely clean something like syringe or injection so you should clean it and it should be free of germs so we can say that to make something like needle or any injection completely clean and free of germs is known as sterilize so you should always sterilize sterilize your syringe or the needle of the injection yes the thin cotton cloth which is used for covering wounds is called as gauze right so you can see that if any person gets hurt or if he is suffering or if he had met an accident so we can cover his or her wounds by using this thin cotton cloth which is called as gauze so now let's see the first aid tips for cuts and wounds so first of all you should follow the step that is wash the wound or the cut with water to remove dirt so by chance or if mistakenly if you are playing on the playground or at your home or anywhere else except on the road right so if you are playing on the in the garden or on the playground then you may get hurt sometimes so what steps should be followed don't worry if you get hurt right wash the wound or the cut with the water first to remove dirt 
then wipe with cotton dipped in a few drops of antiseptic lotion right why it should be dipped with empty antiseptic lotion yes because it will kill the germs on an injured part then always remember that if it is a minor cut then just put a bandaid but if it is a deeper cut then you may need cotton pads and a sterilized bandage so you should be then covered with a long sterilized bandage and if it is very minor cut then just put a bandaid right so have you got it all right now we will study and see some first aid tips for burns right so children always remember that first step which we should follow for burns is wash the burned or the wounded area with running water then put an ice pack on the burnt area or dip it in the cold water till the skin irritation is gone right so sometimes your hand or your leg gets burns right so if it gets burn then don't worry put an ice pack ice pack like you can keep the ice cubes in a polythene in one polythene bag right and put it on a burnt area or you can dip your finger if it is hurt then you can put your finger in the cold water till the skin irritation is gone right so you will be cured very easily and fast then put an antiseptic cream on the burnt area all right now we will see some first aid tips for insect bites so which rules or which tips should we follow for insect bites yes first apply calamine lotion okay and for bee and the wasp stings like you can see in the picture right a boy is getting hurt by a wasp sting so apply a paste of baking soda with an antiseptic cream so you will get cured very easily okay and now we will see some first aid tips if a person has fainted if a person has fainted being if a person is falling down if its energy is less or it has been lost that means a person gets fainted so always remember that if a person has fainted make him or her lie down with his or her head lower than the body right so you can see here in the picture the girl's head is lower than her body right a doctor has lied down her head lower than her body so what will happen if we will lie his or her head lower than the body yes more blood will reach the brain so you have to always remember this that if the person gets fainted then lie down his or her head lower than the body so that more blood can reach the brain so that person will get energy and he will stand again so children though the type of first aid depends on upon the type of injury there are some general rules you should keep in mind when a person is injured because all injury are not of the same types right sometimes you get burns sometimes you get a minor cut sometimes 
you met with an accident so badly that you fracture yourself right so there are all different types of injury but for all the types of injury there are some general rules right so let's see some of the general rules so the first one is that you should never panic you should never get afraid or get fear send for an adult or call a doctor and always remember that do not crowd around the victim right if you will crowd the victim then what will happen if you have call for an ambulance the ambulance people would will will face difficulty or would face difficulty to carry that person right so always remember that you should call an adult immediately or call a doctor or an ambulance and do not crowd around the victim then make sure that the victim is comfortable and calm him her down right so always remember that victim should feel comfortable and calm him or her down always loosen the victim's clothing so what will happen if will we we will lose the victim's clothing yes the blood circulation will increase right so we should always loosen the victim's clothing if he or she is injured badly and always keep the victim protected from flies and dust otherwise it may cause more dangerous disease to that person or the victim so one should always observe safety rules to avoid accidents so always remember this and one more thing children you should be familiar with or if you are not familiar then let us read the indian red cross society is a voluntary organization that helps and takes care of the people who get injured during crises or emergencies like natural calamities or attacks etc so if any of the person or many people get injured during the crises like natural calamities natural calamities what are natural calamities like earthquake or flood or tsunami if this happens then many people get injured or many people die right so the indian red cross society is a very good voluntary organization that helps those people right so you should always if any person gets injured so you should always follow or obey and keep in mind some safety rules and some general rules to help that victim so children i hope you are clear with this session about safety and first aid and learned many things or many steps and the process about the first aid and the first aid tips so always keep the first aid tips in your mind and always take care of yourselves okay so we will meet in the next session with the new lesson till then keep learning and always obey the safety rules and the traffic rules till then keep learning and take care of yourselves